Dr. Horace Chang and Major Anthony Anderson, the National Security Minister and the Police Chief, respectively, must urgently clear the air on if or what scale private citizens are being surveilled with facial recognition or similar technology has been suggested by the police officers in Montego Bay. If it is being done, we must also be told whether it is in keeping with the requirements of the law. Prime Minister Andrew Olness, in his role as chairman of the National Security Council, also need to speak on the matter to assure Jamaicans that his government isn't attempting an end run around people's rights to privacy and the strictures of the courts. In recent days, the Gleaner newspaper has reported on the deployment of facial recognition cameras and software by the Chinese-owned businesses in Montego Bay, St. James, in the face of spate of robberies in which at least two Chinese businessmen were shot dead. The latest case was in March when Andrew Andy Chin was killed and a company and security officer injured and a large sum of money stolen. We appreciate that in the context of Jamaica's very high level of crime, including more than a thousand homicides annually and the seen inability of the authorities to contain the crisis, citizens will be driven to seek private solutions. Indeed, CCTV, widely employed in many countries to survey communities, is being increasingly employed in Jamaica. But the deployment of artificial intelligence driven facial recognition technology takes the matter to another and highly controversial order. The system uses algorithms to match face captured by camera, even from a large crowd, against images stored in databases. Matches can be produced in a matter of seconds from a database of hundreds of millions. The system is widely used in China and, increasingly, in the West by law enforcement agencies. There are, however, deepening concerns over the system's potential for colliding with the civil liberties and rights to privacy, such as is guaranteed by Jamaica's constitution. Indeed, it was in pursuance of the protection of the latter right that the Jamaica's Constitutional Court last year struck down the Holness Administration's National Identification Registration Act, which would have created compulsory database of the people's biometric, biographical, and demographic information from which would be generated national identification cards, without which residents wouldn't have been able to do business with the government or receive benefits from the state. The court held that the law was overreaching, beyond what was an infringement outside of what is demonstrably justified in free and democratic society. While unlike what was anticipated by Jamaica's law, databases using facial recognition technology may not, by law, require the compulsory of sequestering of biometric information, the wide-scale storage and analysis of the people's information, which is required for the system to be effective without their knowledge, or right to interrogate what is on file seems, or the face of it, to cross into the territorial constitutional court to be held into the sacrosanct to privacy. Moreover, a Data Protection Act recently passed by Jamaica's Parliament sets out a range of mechanisms and procedures that entitles, including government agencies, have to institute and abide by when in control of the people's private information. The bars for these are pretty high, which are not clear that the Montego Bay business are ready to meet. Serious discussion! It is one thing, however, when private individuals, perhaps in ignorance, do things that may offend the law and infringe on people's rights. It is quite another when possible perpetrator is the state, and the situation is sensitive and potentially dangerous as this one. A Montego Bay police officer quoted in the Gleaner newspaper in the context of facial recognition technologies being deployed by private businesses suggested that the police in that city are able to match those systems. Law-abiding citizens, that officer said, need not to worry about the intrusive nature of the cameras available to the constabulary because only footage of evidentiary value is kept by the law enforcement agency. That though is his take, not my take, okay? We prefer the assurance of the constitution and the law and the protection they offer against overreach by the state, especially from a technology which, 
as it evolves, has the capacity to be 21st century's big brother. It is, in part, this concern by citizens that caused Canada's Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Australian Federal Police to drop or scale down their planned use facial recognition system by the American firm Clearview AI, a large portion of whose database is scrapped from social media sites such as Facebook, often without the knowledge of users. So that means set them a go come on Facebook page and a take off my information without me knowing it? Oh, you answer to me? The bottom line, any such technology should be deployed in accordance with the law and after serious discussion. Yo, some of them tell them precisely some of the great reporting live like I said. This article was from the Gleaner. I can put the link in so you can click and go there to read it for yourselves. Okay, viewers, fans, friends, my family, them, subscribers, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Please do feel absolutely free to drop us your comment and be kind to leave a feedback. Yeah, comment, like, share, and tell others about it. And also remember to hit the notification bell if you want to be updated on what's new. Talking about what's new, go and go check out Amazia the Great Collection. Me have holy for merchandise of one with a bag of things. Enough t shirt designs, don't tell them precisely. Available on Teespring. Enough people are talk about it, but go and go look for yourselves. Links will be in the description below. We have tabs for females, males, babies, cups, phone cases, etc. Mr. Go and go look now. Follow us here, the great collection on IG and like us on Facebook. If you haven't watched My Name is Pam before, features my sister quality. Please do go and go watch it and share it as it relates to domestic abuse against women and a woman's struggle through it to independence. Also remember to check out Amazia the Great Music on Amazon, Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, Google Play. It's everywhere. <laughs>